Hey guys, Jimmy Yin here, the Neurology Acupuncture Specialist, coming at you with a na another Daily Power Tips. So today is Wednesday. Wednesday, we're going to switch it up again. We're going to talk about Wisdom Wednesday, going back to Wisdom Wednesday. So I saw this quote. I, don't, I have no idea who wrote it. Um, so if you know, just let me know in, in the comments below. But it said, basically, if the plan doesn't work, change the plan, but never the goal. And so this is actually super important because what I see very often is that when people don't achieve their goals, um, you know, they, they switch the wrong thing. You change the wrong thing. You're focused on, on improving the wrong thing. The, don't change your goals. Your goals are your goals. Those are important to you, right? Don't change them. Don't lower them just because your plan doesn't work. Now, this can be for anything in your life, but we're going to talk about health. So let's say someone wants to lose some weight or if someone wants to get more energy and have better sleep. Just, you know, when you don't get, when you don't lose the weight that you want, you don't get the energy that you want, you don't get the sleep that you want, you, you don't get the, you know, the freedom to do whatever you want to do, don't change that goal. I see too often people are going for shortcuts and when they go for the shortcuts, they don't achieve their goal and, you know, they, and then they, 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 you know, convince themselves, I would say. They give themselves, they convince themselves that, oh, I really didn't want to lose the 30 pounds. Oh, I really don't need that much energy because I'm stuck at home because of COVID and I'm, you know, I can't go out. So I really don't need that energy because there's nothing else to do, right? And so they start giving themselves the excuses that they don't need the, to achieve the goal that they originally set out to achieve, right? So just like this quote, the goal is not the problem. The goal is your goal. Your goal is your goal. It's important to you, so you should achieve it. So the problem is not the goal. Sometimes it's the plan. So if the plan doesn't work, change the plan. Don't change the goal. The plan is how you get to your goal. So for example, for people who want to lose weight and they do you know, whatever the most popular diet is out there right now, and they don't lose the weight. They, or maybe they lose a couple of pounds, but they don't lose the, the 30, 40 pounds that they want to lose, right? And so it's the plan, the method that didn't work. So, and it's because you chose the wrong method, but you won't know if you chose the wrong method if you didn't choose it in the first place, right? So it's the plan that doesn't work. It's, you know, and also people that, uh, let's say they want to get better, they want more energy, okay? They start popping energy drinks. Well, that gives you a temporary, temporary fix, but it doesn't give you prolonged energy. And actually, as the days, as the weeks go on, the months go on, all of those short-term fixes, quick fixes, those silver bullets that you reached for because you thought it was the right plan to get your goal, well, they actually make your body worse. They make your organs worse. They damage your adrenal glands. They make your adrenal glands even more tired, and then soon, pretty soon you're, you're noticing, oh, instead of just one energy drink, now you need two per day. And then after a few months, oh no, two doesn't work anymore. Now I need to get energy drinks and a 24 ounce of coffee, right? I need some caffeine. So that's the, that's the result when you choose the wrong plan. So when you don't get your goal, stop changing your goal, change the plan, change your method. And if you want a more sustained results, then you gotta put in the work. So it's the plan. The short-term plans usually don't work. The short-term plans don't give you long-term solutions and the long-term goals. So stop shortchanging your goals. Your goals are important to you, and so focus on those goals. Keep those goals. In fact, one of my mentors told me this. The best way to achieve any goal that you want actually is to 10x that goal. So if you want to, no, I'm gonna exaggerate here, right? If you wanna lose 30 pounds, then create a plan not to lose 30 pounds, create a plan to lose 300 pounds, right? Well, of course, this is stupid if you don't have 300 pounds. If let's say you're weighing 150 pounds and you wanna lose 30 pounds, you're not gonna lose 300 pounds. But you get, it's just the idea, the thought. You wanna plan as if you were losing 300 pounds. Because even if you come short at losing 300 pounds, which you're not gonna do because you don't weigh 300 pounds, you're gonna still achieve your goal and actually even more. And that's the same with energy, with sleep, uh, with neuropathy. Let's say, you know, people are short, they're short changing. Oh, I just wanna be able to walk. I wanna be able, which is very important. Being able to walk is very important. Don't get me wrong. But don't shortchange your goals and because a lot of our neuropathy patients, they want to be able to go get on the dance floor and boogie, right? They want to get on the dance floor and they want to dance. So don't set your goals short and just say, hey, 
I might, you know, I'll just be happy if I if I if I can walk, right? Um, no, you want to keep your goals as, hey, I want to be on the dance floor. Remember, 10x your goal. I want to be on the dance floor 10 times a week, right? And so, even if you come short, even if you come short of that, you would be able, let's say, get on the dance floor two times a week. Well, that was a whole lot better than what your original goal was, which was just to get on the dance floor once a week, right? So, one of this is a, a very powerful way to uh, to achieve your goals. But again, today's topic is don't change your goals, change your plan. And if whatever health plan that you're on, whatever path that you're on, because we're actually, this reminds me of a, a patient who went through a detox program to fix her gut. And you know, she went through, I think it was like a three month program. It was this functional medicine program, uh, lots of supplements, different supplements, different times, just three months, and her gut still the same. Right, and so and and so we've been treating her for two weeks, and just with the if when you have the right plan, it works. The speed of where it works actually is faster, right? Just within two weeks, we've already improved her gut by eighty to ninety percent, just in two weeks. And she took three months of supplements to try to fix her gut, and it did nothing. And so now you know. So it's not the goal. She wants her better digestion. The goal. She shouldn't change the goal. It's the plan. The plan that she originally tried didn't work. So you gotta change a new plan. So you gotta ask yourself, is the plan that you're currently doing to improve any any part of your or, your health, your organ function, maybe you got migraines, you got headaches, or whatever, is your plan that you're currently doing, is it helping you? Or is it is it making you, you know, deep is it making you give excuses and change your goal? If a plan is forcing you to change your goal, then you're not you're probably not on the right plan or the right process or the right treatment or the right uh, uh, um, steps I would say right so think about that don't change your goal so that the the topic of today the, the learning experience today is don't change your goal change your plan change your method change your treatments not your goal keep your goal right um, so hopefully this is beneficial and uh, let me know okay um, and as always remember everything in life is everything in life is achievable so it's up to you but it's up to you to make it happen no one's gonna do it for you no government's gonna do it no politicians gonna do it for you you gotta make it happen so what are you gonna do today it's hump day of the week still got two more days before the weekend what are you gonna do to make it happen